Yo, that that Jalen Phillips Cobb fight. See, and I I told my wife we were sitting there in the uh, in the living room, right? And I told her I said, look, if Cobb wins this fight, but there's any type of funny business, then you know it, they had already put the fix in on the fight going into the fight that Cobb was going to win the fight no matter what. At the bare minimum. He was going to walk out with a draw. And, and why did I say that, fight fans? I said that ahead of time because this is the, this is the stuff. I'll say this is the stuff that I hate about boxing. It's the politics of boxing. You got a guy in Cobb that is under the ESPN top rank banner. And on a top ranked card. And you think that this guy is going to be a star down the road. So you go ahead and get all of your judges to make sure that he's good no matter what. At the bare minimum, it's going to be a draw. As long as he doesn't get knocked out in the ring. And the reason why they do this stuff is because they've invested all this money into these fighters and they don't want all that money to go to waste. I understand. But look, man, what's the point of having judges if you're not going to judge it? You see what I'm saying? So, all right. So I say all that to say that my dude Jalen Phillips won that fight. He won that fight three rounds to one. Three rounds to one. The first round, Cobb got him. But the second, third, and the fourth rounds, yo, Cobb was gassed. He was gassed. He was clearly gassed in the second round. Second round, he was gassed. The man was throwing all these, uh, uh, uh. Hey, he, he wasn't hitting jack. Nothing. I mean, he couldn't even hit oxygen with the fights, with the punches that he was throwing. He couldn't. He's throwing, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. Ugh. So forget that dude, man. And the sad thing is, I was like, I said at the beginning of the fight, I before the fight started, I told my wife, I said, yo, Cobb is nice, man. He's nice. Man, that dude, he's fire. He's, I mean, he got that, you know what I'm saying? Man. But Phillips... He caught me off guard with this performance. He came in there with a good game plan, well-conditioned, well-focused, and he won the fight. He put the pressure on Cobb. Cobb couldn't deal with the work rate. And then Phillips went to work. Plus, being a southpaw, he, he kept his distance. He was landing some really nice straight lefts. He didn't go to the body as much as I would have wanted him to, but he did okay. And then what happens? They do a majority draw, bruh. A majority draw. Why? Because they've already invested all this money into Cobb and they don't want it to go to waste this early. Cobb should be one in one right now. And... And uh, my dude Jalen, he should be, I think, two and two. <sighs> but now he's got a draw on his record for no reason. He won the fight. Y'all know what I'm talking about with this stuff, man. It is, it, it is a consistent thing when, especially at top rank, especially at top rank, when they got a fighter that they're putting money behind and it's a new prospect, they are not about to let that dude get out of there. With at, at the bare minimum, it's just going to be a draw. As long as it goes to the decision. Their guy is always going to get at least a draw. So, what's the point of judges? Huh? Alright. I got off my soapbox. Uh, but... Jalen Phillips, you won that fight. And hey, if you want to do an interview on Shoot the Jab, bruh, 
Hit me up. I'm going to send this to you regardless. Congratulate. I'm going to say this. Congratulations to you for winning the fight. You won the fight no matter what. And if you want to talk about it, you want to say, well, uh, you know, what was going on or whatever, man, I'll do the interview. We'll cut it. We'll put it on, on the YouTube and the Instagram and, and let people know your side of the story. Because you won that thing, man. Period. Anyway, it's trash. <laughs> I hate I hate this about boxing, but this is the reason why I keep coming back. <laughs> no, that's not the reason. I, I keep coming back mainly because of the fight that's about to happen tonight, which is Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. That thing is going to be nutso. And, and there's, no, there's no hiding on this one. Shakur Stevenson about to do this, man, man. Y'all know how this thing goes with the buck teeth and all that. Come on, man. Shakur going to do this, bro. <laughs> He's too ugly to lose, bro. <laughs> I just play. Hey, I know y'all probably going to be like, bro, you ugly. And? <laughs> but I'm paid, though. <laughs> hey, and, and, and for all the people that got any type of problems, y'all on my YouTube channel, right? Aren't y'all on the YouTube? And didn't the advertisement run when you clicked on the video? So if you call me ugly, hey, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for the promotion. <laughs> and with that being said, peace, one love. We out of here. I'll see you at the top.